so all students today i am going to show you pwm that is pulse width modulation so basically pwm pulse width modulation it is one type of modulation technique in which uh, width of the pulse is varied varied in accordance with the instantaneous values of the message signal uh, whenever the message signal goes positive the width of the pulse is more and it is and whenever the message signal getting negative cycle negative p the width is less so alternatively it is changing so this is the circuit diagram in this we are using two op amps sun for one and three 10 kilo ohm resistors so op amp that is connected in a fashion that the first op amp is let's say it is a summer the next op amp it is comparator here i am going to give two input signals message signal that is m of t as a sine wave carrier signal it is a triangle wave here you will get summer output s of t that is again it is going to be give as a input to the second stage op amp that is inverting terminal it is pin number 3 it is been grounded grounded and pin number 6 you will get pwm i'll show you the circuit uh, this is only require two op amps and three 10 kilo ohm resistors for this to apply the signals two function generators are required one is for sine and is for triangle and you can check output at second pin number 6 of second op amp so this is the circuit diagram for modulation and there is a simple rc filter i'll show you later and these are the expected wave forms total five wave forms will come across with this experiment the first wave form is sine wave that is as i told it is acting as a message signal m of t you can say next carrier signal is triangle wave next summer output next it is a pwm next it is a recurve signal so total 1 2 3 4 5 wave forms out of this experiment on the breadboard i have inserted two op amps that is 7 for 1 in the same direction it is a notch here also it is a notch it is pin number 1 2 3 4 see here 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 here also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 in the same direction because uh, to give, to make bias easily this is a power supply i am using power supply here plus 12 minus 12 and it is a ground here black color it is a minus volt in some other power supply they may use a different color no issue but to make sure that ensure there is a plus 12 minus 12 and common terminal it is it should present okay so it is a plus 12 minus 12 and it is a common terminal now first i will do the biasing of the op amp first i will bias to pin number 7 this is common ground i will make green color and it is minus 12 to pin number 4 see here plus 12 to pin number 7 minus 12 and it is a common ground and i will make a short in the breadboard in the breadboard now for one ic i applied the bias voltage now what i will do is i will make other ic i'll make a short of this pin number 4 to 4 and pin number 7 to 7 7 to 7 7 to 7 7 to 7 time i'll show you this is the first op amp i have connected positive voltage to pin number 7 negative voltage to pin number 4 and this common terminal i made ground and the, in the breadboard from here to here i have used one wire to make a short and make the ground and uh, pin number 4 to 4 of op amp i may i may i have made short here to same voltage what i applied to this op amp that is parallelly go to the, the second op amp 7 7 i made a short 4 4 7 7 and it is common ground so the no the biasing of the op amp is over no only have to put the three resistors as per the circuit diagram so first thing is 
pin number 3 are neck ground of first op amp pin number 3 neck ground pin number 2 to 6 there is a resistor 2 to 6 10k i will insert here 2 to 6 2 to 6 6 other two registers from pin number 2 only I'll, I'll leave on the breadboard later I can apply the signals one register I'll give to this end mm. other register I'll, I'll leave it to this end see here I'll show you so here Hmm. observe the circuit from pin number 2 only there is a register which is gone to pin number 6 and pin number 2 only there are two registers I have kept it open end on the breadboard here it is a one register other point is here is a one register one register one register now later I will apply the signals here from this point one signal message signal from this point the carrier signal the two registers has been connected to pin number 2 and pin number 2 again one register to pin number 6 this is how the circuit diagram are connected so now first op amp pin number 6 is connected to the pin number 2 of second op amp as per the circuit I will show you pin number 6 from the first op amp pin number 2 of the second op amp Pin number 3 of second op amp is been grounded. I will ground it and show you. Mm. 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 Ground it. Number 3. It is 2. 6 to 2 have connected. Biasing already have done. Only thing is output I have to see. Now I will apply the signals. See here. So this I have taken as a triangle wave from this function generator. From, from this function I have taken a sine wave. Sine wave I have, I have adjusted frequency around 431 hertz, 430 hertz. Triangle wave it is at 2.2k. So first I will apply the sine wave. See here while applying the signal be careful. Don't get confused. So it is the probe. In the diagram what I have shown is with respect to ground you have to, you have to apply the signal. Do not confuse with this ground symbol. Do not short and make it ground. You have to apply the positive probe to this end, negative probe ground, positive probe to this end, negative probe ground. So I will show you. This is positive of the probe. I am connecting to the one end of the register. Negative, it is being grounded. Mm. So this is message signal, it is over. Positive probe I have connected to one end of register. That again gone to pin number 2. Negative, it is being grounded. Here another probe I have taken that the black wire it is grounded. See here the positive probe another register. Another register. Anyone you can take either you can triangle you can apply here sign you can apply interchange that anyhow they are going to meet and connect it to pin number 2 only. So this is another register applied here. See here one positive probe to one register from one FG from another FG positive probe to another register another register now on the CRO first thing I will do is CRO as you know that they are having two channels one channel I am connecting message signal parallelly from the CRO I am taking probe message signal parallel means where the message signal is applied that point on CRO probe it is there I am negative I am making to the common ground positive probe where I am connected the sine wave sine wave you are getting there on the CRO Sine wave you are getting on the CRO, the probe one probe are connected to the message signal parallel where you applied from the function on the breadboard, this point on the circuit. Other probe, now I am showing you the output. So this is the message uh, probe, negative ground and positive, it is to pin number 6. Now you apply, switch on the uh, power supply, DC power supply, now you are getting the PWM signal, see here. Mm, this is the PWM signal. Mm, here you can see here. Tuning, you have to make some tuning. 
เชียดกูฟอร์อัลต์โหมดนู้ยชื่อแล้วเชียร์are getting PWM signal. Width of the pulse is varied. I am trying to hold that signal. Hmm. Whenever the message signal is positive, the width of the pulse is more. And if it is negative, width of the pulse is less. Whenever it is a more positive cycle of the message signal, width is more, and it is negative, width is less. So this is the pulse width modulation. So tuning it is important. You note down the frequency and amplitude of the message signal and carrier signal. Message signal I have kept it around 509, 0.509 kilo. That means 100 hertz here. Carrier signal triangle wave I kept it around 2.37 kilohertz. Amplitude of the message signal is no issue. Sure, measure you and tell you. So approximately it is vertically one two divisions. Two into two four volts. What about the carrier? I have kept it. I'll remove this probe and show you the triangle wave where I applied carrier signal. Triangle where I am showing, it is at five. It is at two division approximately. Two five is at ten volts. I applied carrier. Carrier ten volts peak to peak message. Message is four volts. Carrier is around ten volts triangle where, and you are getting pulse width modulation. Frequency what I adjusted is five zero nine hertz for sine wave, two point three seven kilohertz for triangle wave. This is what you have to maintain. So I'll write it and give you sine wave, and it is a triangle wave carrier. Carrier it is around 10 volts peak to peak. Frequency adjusted 2.37 kilohertz. Sine wave it is 4 volts peak to peak. Frequency around tune it around 500 hertz. This is very important for tuning the modulation, pulse width modulation. Otherwise you will not get the width variation. 10 volts, 4 volts peak to peak, carrier signal. 10 volts peak to peak, 2.37 kilohertz. Message, 4 volts peak to peak, 500 hertz. Now we are getting here. Now I will show you the demodulation for this circuit only. First I will show you connect, take other breadboard. So there is a calculation for demodulation. So this is this is the demodulation part. Only simple RC filter we are taking for the demodulation. For the input of this demodulation is PWM signal. What you are getting output that becomes input for this circuit. Here FM means message signal frequency. Already it is at 510 hertz. Practically you just see here 510, 509, 510 you can take. C is let C is equal to 0.1 microfarad. Now you need to find the value of R. Formula for R is R is equal to 1 by 2 pi FM C. C is 0.1 microfarad. You need to find out the value of R. So now I am directly inserting 10 kilo ohms. You can calculate and keep it. Other afterwards you can increase the R value to get smoother output at the demodulation. Now you can calculate and keep it. Later on you can increase the value of R to get better waveforms. Now in the initially I show you all the waveforms. So this is sine wave, message signal, triangle, carrier wave. This is summer output and it is PWM and it is demo. One one more time, I'll show you all the waveforms with the help of the probe. Now I'll connect the demodulation. Just see here. So capacitor is already inserted. I'll insert the resistor. Now in the, for timing, I'm taken 10k. You can go through that calculation what I shown. So this is RC filter, R and C filter. C I've taken 0.1 microfarad. Now I'm doing connecting this ground and this ground, breadboard ground, common. Now I'll take this probe, output probe. Connect to this end. Now input is left. So this point and pin number six of the second op amp point, I have to make a short. C 
here second op amp output pwm is available from 6 to this point i have connected here do not get confused from second op amp pin number 6 pwm signal is available from that point to this register one point i have connected no see here on the zero you are getting the recovered signal this is a message original message sign wave original signal and it is a recovered signal Record signal is always having less amplitude, but frequency should match. Frequency is here. Frequency, I'll show you. So this is a, what is the time of our original signal is here one two two divisions. It is time it is showing here also it is a two division. That means if you multiply and calculate frequency also it will come same. So what about the amplitude? Original signal you are having amplitude of two divisions. Vertical it is two that is four volts. Whatever the required signal as I told, it will be less some little bit or you can see here it is coming around some 5 10 volts around no issue so frequency if it is matches okay now i'll remove the 10k register and put the low value register you see the difference 2.2k the same wave forum it will come some distortion having distortion some see here distortion 2.2k for 10k that will become smoother now I have changed the register and shown you when the, the increased value of resistance you can get smoother waveform at the demodulation stage. So this is completion of PWM modulation and demodulation. Now one more thing I will show you with the help of one, only single probe. See here I am taking only single probe. I will show you all the waveforms. So I will take this common to the ground. So this is positive of the probe. First I will show you the signals what I applied. See here sine wave, sine wave applied and other register what is that triangle wave applied see here triangle wave and first op amp output that is summer output summer output see here it is a summer output summer output first op amp output summer output this is a summer output and next op amp output it is a pwm signal width is varying and the demodulation stage this is a record signal one more time i will show you this is a sine wave and it is a triangle wave and first op amp output summer output and it is a pwm and it is a demodulation signal total 5 waveforms out of this experiment Message signal that is sine wave, carrier signal that is triangle wave, summer output, PWM and the recovered signal. So that is completion of the experiment and the formulas for demodulation circuit I have given here. This is the formula designed for low pass filter. R is equal to 1 by 2 by 3.